I want to talk about how you take the zeros and write it in factored form and then multiply it out. So this was example three, and in the video I had forgotten to leave the th I had forgotten this coefficient three when I wrote it out in factored form, but it's supposed to be here. Um, and so here I wrote out all the factored form of the three zeros. Um, and then 3 times x minus 1 third gives me 3x minus 1. And then I distributed the negative sign here. So I had x minus 2 minus the square root of 6 and x minus 2 plus the square root of 6. So I'm going to multiply these two things out kind of the long way. And then I'm going to show you a more um, concise way to do it, which may, might make sense to some of you and might not to some others. So if I start with um, x times everything, I would have x squared. And I think I actually are going to, I'm going to sort of do this um, separately over here. So x minus 2 minus the square root of 6 and x minus 2 plus the square root of 6. And I'm going to kind of do this separately over here. Um, if I start with x and multiply it times everything, I would have x squared minus 2x um, plus the square root of 6x. And then if I multiply negative 2 times everything, I would have negative 2x plus 4 minus 2 the square root of 6. And then if I, let's go with black here, negative square root of 6x, let me write this underneath here, negative square root of 6x plus 2 the square root of 6. And then negative 6 times or negative square root of 6 times positive square root of 6 is plus 6. So notice I'm lining it up with things that, that it is like terms with. So this gives me x squared minus 4x. These cancel out, plus 10. And these cancel out. So this turns out to be x squared minus 4x plus 10. Then if I multiply this all out, which I kind of will move it over here, I would have 3x times everything would be 3x cubed minus 12x plus 30. One, negative 1 times everything would be negative x squared. This is, sorry, this is 30x. Negative x squared plus 4x minus 10. So this gives me 3x cubed minus 13x squared plus 34x minus 10. And somehow something went wrong because that isn't Oh, I see what I did wrong. I see what I did wrong. Right here, this should be minus 6. Some of you are probably crying foul right now. You, you saw that a long time ago. That's minus 2. So this should be minus 2. OK, do this again. So this would be 3x cubed minus 12x squared plus 2x. I'm oh, sorry, plus, minus 6x, I'm ahead of myself, minus 6x, and then negative x squared plus 4x plus 2, or 3x cubed minus 13x squared minus 2x plus 2. Let me double check and see if that's what it was supposed to be. Yes, that's the original, that was number example number 3 in your finding zeros notes. Okay, let's look at example number four in your finding zero notes. Um, or maybe example, no, example number, ooh, that's a messy one. Let's just do example number four. Um, so example number four turns out to be x minus three um, squared times x minus the square root of seven i times x plus the square root of seven i. So this would be x squared minus 6x plus 9, okay? Because that's x minus 3 times x minus 3, okay? This would be x minus the square root of 7ix plus the square root of 7ix. So you can see how the fact that they're conjugate pairs a in the form a minus b and a plus b, the middle term cancels out, and that gets rid of the imaginary part. Just like in the previous example, um, oops, that's not what I was looking for. In the previous example here, um, 
And I'm still looking for my previous example. I can't find where I just was. This is very weird. Oh, there we go. In this previous example, all of the things with the square root of 6 in them subtracted out. Okay, this the square root of 6 here subtracted out and the square root of 6 here subtracted out because we had 2 plus the square root of 6 and 2 minus the square root of 6. Those are conjugate pairs and so that allowed all the, the irrational part to cancel out. Okay, and here's my example. I didn't realize I'd done it right below the other one. Okay, um, and so and then finally um, we have minus the square root of 7i squared should be x squared. So what is the square root of 7i squared? Well, the square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is 7, and i squared is negative 1. So let me rewrite this part. I'm going to erase this. x squared minus 6x plus 9. This is x squared. This cancels out. And this would be minus 7i squared. Well, i squared is negative 1, so that's the same as negative 7 times negative 1, so that becomes plus 7. So this is x squared minus 6x plus 9 times x squared plus 7. And then when we multiply this out, I'm actually not going to go any farther with this, but you end up getting then back to, um, I think this is, uh, yeah, you should get x to the fourth minus 6x to the third plus 16x squared minus 42x plus 63. So that's how you would multiply this out. I think you could do the rest of it by yourself. Now I said I'd show you a more efficient way to do the first one and that's what I want to show you now. Um, just showing you this part right here. So let me just do a little capture of this. I can do this really nifty little thing like this and capture it. Okay, and let's just drag this down here, and oh, it didn't didn't uh, get all of it, but at least I can recopy it now that I see what it is. So x minus two plus the square root of six, and x minus two minus the square root of six. So notice the plus and minus part. The plus and minus part does not go here and here. Okay, it goes in between. It goes in the two plus the square root of six and two minus the square root of six. So then this would be x minus two minus the square root of six and x minus two plus the square root of six. So now I'm going to regroup and I see that I have an x minus two here and an x minus two here. So I have. Uh, think of my x minus 2 as my a term and the negative and the square root of 6 is my b term. So I have an a minus b and I have an a plus b. And hopefully you remember that if you multiply a minus b times a plus b, you get a squared minus b squared. So this is going to be x minus 2 squared minus the square root of 6 squared, which is x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 6, or x squared minus 4x minus 2. And if you look up at the top, that's what I got. Okay, so I'll show that down to you again. So that's a, a faster way to multiply out um, something in this form. And you can do the same thing with imaginary numbers. If this were 2 plus 3i and 2 minus 3i, um, you, could have, you could do it the, do the same thing, and your squared term would just be your imaginary term. So that's a nifty uh, shortcut to multiplication.